There are two reasons why I decided to prepare this support video. The first reason is that the knowledge of the positions with the CAN or IKICAN will help me explain and will help you understand the Aikido Suburi and Kumitachi we will learn and practice within the SA educational program. It's the orientation reason. You will have your checkpoints which will help you organize your Aikikan practice. The other reason is that there is no clear standard for the positions of Aikikan. Different schools of Aikido offer different names for the positions that are sometimes contradictory. The information you can find in open sources, like in YouTube, for instance, altogether can be confusing. Open information becomes a new challenge of the modern times, when availability of information brings more confusion than clarity. Therefore, the second reason of this video is to avoid confusion. I will introduce you to the 10 basic stances with the Aikiken applied in our Suburi and Kumitachi practices. All the 10 stances will be compared and paralleled to the five universal stances recognized in Kendo. It will help you understand the roots of the Ken tradition and basically will help you see the whole picture. Eventually, my goal is to provide you with a solid platform for your Aikiken practice organization. When we consider basic Kamai with Aikiken, it's better not to differentiate Seigan and Chudan as static positions. In Aikido, Seigan is more related to the notion of static Kamai. If we think in terms of Chudan, in Aikido it should be related to a more dynamic concept like Suburi in the spiking movements rather than Kamai positions. So, in Aikido, it is a standard Migi Seigan or simply Seigan, a zero readiness position. Further, in Suburi, we can recognize Migi and Hidari Chudan in our spiking movements.
do not confuse positions with the orientation of the blade. For instance, some Aikiken practitioners change the orientation of the blade and in the result change the names of the positions. Miki Gedan and Hidari Gedan. It can also take place in Waki position. It is wrong. It is not the position itself that is wrong. The name of the position is incorrect. Hanmi, the orientation of your body is more fundamental. The relative positioning of your body to Uke is our concern. Aikiken is fundamentally a developing tool, which is initially used to develop your body structure, positioning and movement. And can does not eventually stay with us. Our comprehension and skills are something that stays. So, from fencing or sportive perspective, a blade orientation can be critical. But when we consider Kamaya positions, the concepts of the positions with Aikiken do not include orientation of the blade. Blade orientation is considered further in Suburi movements, not in Kamaya. Remember that and do not be confused.